Let's talk about this. You're bringing the big three to Baltimore here on Sunday or on Saturday. We've already explained the rules. We've already explained what it what it was, but maybe you kind of give the lowdown to how this is all really continued to come together and what's in store here and why you wanted to bring it to the Charm City. Well, you know, I think it's uh, a great brand of basketball, you know, very fun for the players to play and very fun for people to watch. And, um, you know, when you see it live, it's a whole different experience. So, you know, we've been barnstorming with this league for, for seven years, you know, besides the COVID years and then the quarantine. <laughs> we had a couple quarantine years, but for the most part, we've been going from city to city, showing the world how great uh, this brand of basketball is. Three on three, professional, um, and Everybody loved three on three because it's mano y mano, nowhere to hide. Uh, if you can't pass, dribble, shoot, and defend, you're gonna get locked up in the big three. So it's it's a uh, it's just great. You know, I can't wait to get there and show everybody, uh, you know, how good the product is. Yeah, and I think one thing you're talking about the product right there. I mean, you're having former star players, and you know, Joe Johnson, and now it's it's jacked Mike Bibby. Yeah. He's put on. Yeah, quite a bit he, of he's, muscle he's gotten jack since the end his yeah, mike, yeah. major <laughs> so it was mike bibby in the nba now it's <laughs> jacked mike bibby when he was big three. yeah it's different it's but that's the personality people wanted to see obviously well you know these are the guys that still got the hunger for the game yeah you know it's 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 a thousand names i can name that people want to see but if the player has retired in his mind we don't really want him, you know, he can come sit next to me, but uh, if he still got that chip on the shoulder, still think he got something to prove, he may have been, you know, out the NBA faster than he wanted to, you know, everybody don't get a chance to walk into the sunset like Kobe Bryant. So um, it's, it's, uh, it's players who really, um, some of them are playing in other leagues around the world. Uh, so they're playing in China and they're playing in, you know, uh, Puerto Rico and in Europe. And so, you know, this is where they can play uh, this style in front of their, you know, fans, friends, family, people who who've been supporting them all this time now get to get a chance to see them play on CBS or X. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up, too, about not everyone gets to walk off into the sunset. So, you know, fortunately, you know, I had a, a father that had a chance to kind of similarly, he got to play for a long time and then hang it up in Baltimore here for the Orioles. And, uh, you know, it doesn't always work out that way, but the, the desire doesn't go away for guys. And that's what I love is that you guys got the passion there with the league. And now, correct me if I'm wrong, it's seven years you guys have been doing this, you said? seven years it's really been eight you know we had to survive a COVID year yeah. that we we couldn't play uh, but seven years at it you know um this is our seventh season and so um you know it's, it's just a great brand like and you know when players still want to play and there's nowhere for them to play um it could really mess with them mentally you know and um uh, I think our league has been amazing for the mental health of as athletes to uh, to walk off the court when they want to, to walk off the yeah. court when they feel uh, it's time and not when a league says we don't have no room for you, even though you've honed your skills to, you know, a, a, a apex, um, you know, a basketball player. But um, to have a, league where they can still you know get that competition that camaraderie um make a little money uh entertain the fans it's it's to me what the doctor ordered especially at this point in the summer um i love baseball but mid-season baseball you know gets a little a little long a little stretch but so you know to have an alternative too um you know it's great yeah and i love that and the baseball part after this next one i gotta ask you a couple of baseball questions don't you worry but kind of alluding to that what's making you different rock is going into what you wanted to ask 
Yeah, Ice Cube, thanks for joining the show, man. First and foremost, like I'm sure you had a, a ton of doubters when you first started this thing year one. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, everybody thought we was crazy. Me and my yep. my partner Jeff Quantance, uh, everybody thought we was, you know, like why why would you why would you put yourself through this? Uh new leagues never work. Yeah, and you saw it in, in football with the AAF. Sometimes leagues they do fall flat on their face. Your league has not, though, man. Seven years strong. You guys are doing fantastic things with the big three. But you continue to evolve day in and day out, and it seems. And whether it's you, whether it's people behind the scenes as well, your, your whole team just working on this. You guys seem like you have a really solid plan in place going forward to keep this thing not only afloat, but as successful as humanly possible. You had the offer to Caitlin Clark for $5 million for, I think, like eight games, which was which was awesome. Um I want to ask you this. So with that, do you have any other athletes, people that you're approaching with offers to to try to bring them to the big three to play right now? Well, not this season. You know, this season we we pretty much rolling downhill. So uh, but next season, you know, we'll have our antennas up. Uh, we felt like if we uh, brought in a player like that, it would definitely elevate the the interest in the league you know, from all levels. Uh, it's a barrier breaker uh, as far as, um, you know, could a, a skilled woman play uh, with men uh, at this level? Uh, three on three, two, which is a little tougher than five on five. Uh, so, you know, it wasn't up to us to say she couldn't. It was up to her to accept the challenge and go for it. And, um, and you know, she didn't. We wish her luck. And we're going to move on and keep it moving.